Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. For those of you that watched my coffee pot video, thank you. You are the best viewers I have. For the rest of you, go back and watch that video. It was actually kind of fun. Anyway, today we're back at it, looking for records, antiques, things of that nature. In fact, I'm on the road today doing a series of shows. We'll see how many. Uh, from antique stores, thrift stores, just trying to find cool stuff. Obviously looking for interesting records. Um, I would love to find a reel-to-reel -reel machine, but that's kind of unlikely. Or like other cool tech, you know, little Walkman things, whatever. So today we're going to check out this place right there. This is called The Barn. And I've seen this place a million times, but I've never been in it. So come with me. We're going to check it out. You're not going to want to miss this. Looks awesome. Let's check it out. And what to my wondering eyes do appear? A place to buy my aunt a Christmas present for the next 45 years. Sadly, this is more of an artisan's market, not really an antique store, although it is interesting and quite festive, and there was a lot of interesting things here. Unique, one-of-a-kind, handmade goods. I especially like the spoon rings that are made out of spoon handles. But no records, none of that good stuff. Still, we spent a little bit of time, looked around, had to do it, had to do it. Next door, they had the wartiest pumpkin of all time, a little uh, country store here, grocery store, which is cool. Well, that was a little bit of a disappointment. Turns out it was more of a uh, artisan shop than a real antique store, which is a bummer because I had seen that place for years and always wanted to check it out. So we're going to check out another place. What's this one called? Emporium. Called the Emporium. Let's go check it out. Looks like they got a little market going on down here. Pretty chilly today, but we're going to the Emporium. It looks like this one's going to be kind of the same. Hopefully they got some actual antiques in here, we shall soon see. The answer is no, they had the same stuff. So we're back in the thrift store, we're going lowbrow today, but maybe we will find some cool stuff. We have projectors, LCD projectors. That's a lighting controller, not as cool as it looks. And just kind of an assortment of random things, everything from space heaters to toasters, and that's not a reel-to-reel -reel or a projector. That's a sewing machine, some old cameras, keyboards. This is a kind of a cool, sharp, single-disc 1980 CD player. I've thought about that. But, yeah, lots of cool stuff, as usual. Alarm clocks and DVD players and CD players and more alarm clocks. And, yeah, you never know what you're going to find. A lot of old... Planned obsolescence, iPod compatible things. And look at this, another projector. It's really weird to see all these LCD projectors. And yes, I did score myself some Star Trek books. I couldn't resist. Let's do a little crate digging here. I'm looking for tech or records, so we'll see here. By the way, if you want to see what I picked up, you'll notice that I try not to show it here. That's because tomorrow I'm going to do a haul video where I'm going to show you exactly what I got, explain why I got it. Hopefully you'll be surprised, but we'll see what we come across here. So far it's been fairly slim pickings until we got to the thrift store, actually. So just flicking through some records here. Hopefully no Judy Collins. This is cool. It's like this Danny Kay album kind of a two disc set thing really really cool that's awesome i love it gatefold seven inch record that's not something you see very often and herp alpert that is something you see very often what is it with all the fitness records i've been seeing today it's really really strange um let's see here al hurt this is so typical thrift store records i can't even tell you al hurt is one that you're going to see a million times over let's see what else we come up with there's a cool kind of a one-off record for a school and yeah, just a, a smorgasbord of things, you know, odd, odd things. Ed Ames is another common one. Bobby Hackett is an old Glenn Miller alumni. Let's see what else we got here. Yeah, very uh, worn, beaten records. Typical thrift store fare. Gospel records, kids records, a lot of Firestone Christmas records. And here I am digging. This is kind of a cool 10-inch children's record. You never know what you're going to find. But just flipping through the stacks here to see if there's any treasures. Again, I try to show some of the crate digging, but at the same time, I understand that it gets old after a while. You can only see so many copies of Neil Sedaka before you've seen enough. I've pretty much mastered my record flicking technique at this point. I can flick through pretty quickly. And you know what? I just love the hunt. This is true record archeology. span This is what this channel started with 
is finding yeah, interesting records nice. like this another aerobic record i don't know what it is with the aerobic records lately if i had them i would throw them away too wait a minute i do have that richard simmons one look at this oh gosh <laughs> awful okay time to try a new place Okay, here is an ARC thrift store. I haven't been here in quite a while, so let's see what they got. Love the moment when you think you found an awesome box set like this, and it's an empty box. This one actually has records in it. Man, it's pretty slim pickings here. Oh, man. For those of you new to the channel, you're wondering why I put that sound up. Every time I come across any Judy Collins, which always seems to pop up, she haunts me, I have to put that up. This place has an amazing selection of books. Look at this, Charlie Brown Encyclopedia used to have that. All right, let's look at the tech. That is not a turntable, that is a PlayStation controller. There's another one over there. How cute, they're trying to look like turntables. All right, let's see what they got. Hopefully we got some good tech today. Always looking for like Walkmans, you know, boom boxes, portable CD players, obviously turntables. My dream would be to find like some classroom equipment, some vintage, like reel-to-reel -reel stuff, although that's really hard to find. Typical stuff, we've got a bunch of, you know, stereo components, speakers, things that I don't even know. This is cool. This is like a Sony boombox. That is a big machine for a single tape player, but it's kind of like that sharp, similar class. I like it, very cool. Uh, like I said, components here, five disc changers. I love those. All kinds of cool stuff. I love compact discs, so anything CD related I think is neat. There's a neat Panasonic boombox. And here we go, an actual record player on this Here Now record player channel. This is a changer of some sort. I've never heard of this brand before. It actually feels pretty cheap. It needs a cartridge that's easily remedied. But uh, build quality seems fairly, fairly basic here. Now here's a BSR. These are famous or infamous. These are each about 10 or 12 bucks, by the way. Now this is an interesting unit. The BSR was used on a lot of different things. It's pretty heavy duty in terms of the plinth being heavy metal. There's a cartridge in there, which is good. And yeah, it's an interesting unit. I would like to work on it. It might be a fun project here. So I don't have any changers right now. So that would be neat. But there's no plug. This is, might have been from the other component system because there's no audio cable, there's no power cable. But there is a witch. There's always this like Halloween crap this time of year at Goodwills and thrift stores. I don't get it. They sell used stuff, but then they sell like a bag full of eyeballs. New stuff too is weird. Okay, so there's where all of the people donate the record players and we will buy them. On to another Goodwill. It's a land of possibilities and guys, Looky, looky, looky. Vintage Sears tape recorder, but it gets better. Look at this sharp tape recorder, awesome. Classroom, awesome. This is what heaven looks like. Look at all the vinyl. Fresh picking to be had. Okay, I'll join you in a minute. I truly am a kid in a candy store here. I love doing this. And it's really hard to hold the camera while you're flipping through vinyl. So I was very thankful of my lovely, beautiful, and talented wife for helping me today. Makes for definitely a much better show. And let me say, these records at this particular store are in amazing condition. They're all like 60s era vinyl records, but the case or the uh, slip covers and the uh, vinyl covers, the whole thing is just in really immaculate condition, which means it's probably from a single collector who took pride in the condition of the records. This is very rare for a thrift store. These are in amazing, amazing condition. And even though it looks like I'm not picking anything up, I am setting some aside. I hate Halloween so much. It's freaking messed up, man. Call me lame, but I just don't like this holiday as much. I mean, I like carving pumpkins and stuff. I just hate all the death stuff. Anyway, let's look at the tech stuff. What I was gonna say is that I am setting some records aside and possibly some tech items as well. I'm trying to do that off camera again. Watch our show tomorrow if you wanna see the haul, see what we picked up here. And man, they've got kind of slim pickings in this particular store. Miniature DVD players, Blu-ray players. Again, if you need like a replacement Blu-ray player, DVD player, come pick it up here, five, 10 bucks, stereo system. Again, one man's trash is another man's treasure. And there is a lot of quote unquote junk, although I hate to call it that. But at the same time, you can find stuff that has value here. At least, you know, depending on what you're into. If you want a little shelf system like that, late 90s shelf system, 
you know, you're good to go. If you want a component system, there you go as well. They look like a nice amp. Sometimes when I'm editing these later, I see stuff that I missed in person. And I'm like, dang, I should have looked at that. And sometimes I even go back. <laughs> I've done that before. Is that a barbecue lid? What the heck? Sometimes stuff is just placed on the counter. I have to look at these up close. Uh, I did ask them to pull them out of the uh, glass cabinet so I could have a better look. This is super neat. This looks early, like mid-60s. It doesn't even say cassette tape. It says tape cartridge, which is pretty early. And this must be the largest cassette player of all time. You thought the boombox earlier was. Look at this beast. Anyway, here we go. It is time to clean up the vinyl, at least. These are a few of the records we picked up. A little sneak peek. Got the spin clean out. And again, we'll show you the rest of the records and whatever tech I picked up in the morning. But that's going to do it for today. Here's my dirty record water, by the way. Really did clean up a lot. This is going to do it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Happy record hunting. Have an awesome night. And we will see you tomorrow.